Hello, on this lesson, we're going to understand what is Meteor and what are the benefits of using it. And you're going to start from Meteor Docs. And it says that Meteor is a full stack JavaScript platform for developing modern web and mobile applications. Meteor includes a key set of technologies for building connected client reactive applications, a build tool, and a created set of packages from the Node.js and general JavaScript community. Okay, we might have an idea now, but let's understand it better. So, Meteor is a full stack framework. That means that it will be present and it will help us in both sides, client side and server side. In the server, Meteor is built on top of Node.js, so we will have the server side the JavaScript there. Meteor is also integrated by default with MongoDB, a NoSQL database. On the client side, we will have JavaScript there as well. And as we mentioned, we will be able to create web, mobile, and desktop applications. We can see the options here. So for web applications, we could use Blaze, that it was a framework created by the Meteor team. We can use React, Vue.js, or Svelte. And in this course, we will be using React. But you can find tutorials and documentation in Meteor Docs to help you using Blaze, Vue, or Svelte. For mobile applications, you can use Cordova or React Native. Both are integrated with Meteor. And you can also create desktop applications using Electron. When you create a Meteor app, we don't need to be refreshing the browser to get the newest information. Meteor will build by default real-time applications. And to do that, Meteor is based on WebSockets and in a protocol called DDP. That means Data Distributed Protocol. And Meteor, in fact, created this protocol. So every time that a data changed in the backend, Meteor will propagate that change to the client side. And to do that, when you are loading data, we use publications. And a key part for this is the Minimongo. That is like a client data cache that Meteor uses. So every time you change something in the backend, Meteor will propagate this through WebSockets and DDP to the client side, and we'll put the data in Minimongo. So if you are using real-time capabilities on the client side, you will fetch your data from the Minimongo. We also have methods. So to send data from the client to the server side, you usually use methods. And we can also fetch data from the server side. If you don't use uh, reactive data uh, by any reason, you can use a method to just fetch that data. Another cool thing is shared JavaScript. So you might have JavaScript files and functions that you use in both sides, and we can reuse them very easily using shared JavaScript in Meteor. If you need to install a package, Meteor is totally compatible with NPM, so you can use any package from there. And Meteor has its own package manager called Atmosphere. So usually, if there is a package that is totally integrated with Meteor, depends on the Meteor core or any specific feature of Meteor, that package will be in Atmosphere. But if it's a package, a common package used by the community, it will be in NPM and you can use both of them. And Meteor has really great packages, like the account package that gives you a ready to use authentication system so you don't have to rebuild authentication anymore. For testing your application, Meteor has a web driver that will help you testing the reactivity data. And you can use Mocha and Chai to do that. But also Meteor is flexible. So if you need, for example, or if you want to use Jest to test your applications, you can do that without any problem. And if you want to create acceptance tests using Cypress, you can also do it. In the data source, you can also use other databases. So if you want to use, for example, MySQL or Postgres, you can do that. Of course, you might lose a few things that Meteor provides you because like this real-time integration that Meteor has, it is available when using MongoDB, but Meteor will not limit you by any means. So you can communicate with different databases. Even for fetching data, or communicating from the server to the client side, you can use REST API. So you can see how flexible Meteor is 
and not only flexible because like I mentioned before, we use methods to, for example, send data from the client to the server side. And there are packages from the community that transform these mature methods in a REST API. So you don't need to rewrite the methods using Express or something like that. If you don't want, you can just transform them in HTTP endpoints. Also, you can use GraphQL. So if you want to use Apollo, you can use it with Meteor without any issues. And in fact, there are a few packages from the Meteor community and from Meteor itself that will help you using Apollo with Meteor. So you finish developing your application and now you have to build it and deploy it. So Meteor also came with a build tool. So you can use Meteor itself to build and bundle your application. And then you can use Galax to deploy your application. So Galax is a service built by the Meteor team and it is built for Meteor. So it will help you scaling your application up or down. And there is also the Meteor APM that will help in monitoring your application and improving the performance. So even when you are deploying your application, Meteor is there to help you but it will not limit you by any means. So you can also deploy your application in a Node.js server, any Node.js server, or in a Docker environment, deploying in AWS or something like that. So you are free to choose where do you want to deploy your application. Of course, Galax is the recommended way, but you are free to choose. So I hope you can understand what Meteor really is. And in the next lesson, we're gonna see some real code and start practicing. So see you in the next video and thanks for watching.